So who am I? I ask because I need to know. I mean, I understand through all the hardships in my upbringing is when I began to grow. I grew to who I ultimately came to be, and now I see. I am not a wannabe. I was born a leader. Some of you may confuse me as a G because I walk with a bob and listen to hip hop. Yeah, you may see me on blocks with gangsters, pimps, and hustlers, but that, I'm really not. So to many, I am misunderstood. Yeah, you're right. I was raised in the hood like many, but I'll do all that I could to see plenty make it out. It's a shame I see all these adolescents roam about aimlessly, without a clue. I mean, following what they see on TV like a damn fool. <laughs> so, who am I to correct their mistakes? I mean, who am I to tell little homie, oh, listen, it's not that fast paper, it's your dreams you need to chase. Who am I to tell them that their mentality needs to be replaced? And who am I to be so upset to see their talent go to waste? Man, it's a disgrace. Who am I? I'm a proud member of the African race. My name is Edwin King, and just like the Reverend Doctor, I too have a dream. Who I am is not as important as what I am. What I am is an inspiration to my generation. Yes, my generation. Some say Generation X or the Hip Hop Generation. I say Generation Next, because yes, our children are the future too. Yes, they are. The sun will soon shine through. They'll soon shine to be the stars that they are once we all get involved. And these problems that the government started like... The crack epidemic. We, the people, will begin to solve. It has to begin somewhere, so why not start with you and me? Who am I? <laughs> it's obvious. I am someone that takes these issues very seriously, but who are you? Thank you. It takes an entire community to raise a child. So when will we find the answers to why our children live a thug life? Why they see life as hopeless and why they don't see a reason to follow Christ? As I sum up all the things that I learned in life, the answers that I have to raise a child right comes with our communities coming together to join a fight. I understand it's going to be a fight for our life to save our youth, save them from destruction and strife, Teach them to be politically aware, open-minded troops, never settling for less, always ready to conquer more. I pray we can save our youth. It takes an entire community to raise a child. If you leave them to fend for themselves, I mean, you can only expect them to be reckless and wild. Besides, there's a child that we're talking about. Our child that we're talking about. So, if you live in the same community, why are you afraid to tell Shorty, watch your mouth? If you see them get out of line, be quick to put them in their place. This is our race we talking about. I know we have a different face, but we all come from the same place. And most of us are blood of slaves. But thanks to us, we are an endangered species today. I can't believe so many of our people are ignorant to what their eyes can see. Seems like the weight of the world is on my back, can't you see? Care to share the load before my legs explode? Let's just suppose every child grew up to be what they're taught and told. Come to realize that their dreams are worth more than that ice and gold. Watching the fast money fold. Quitting to see expressions on people's faces when the laces in their kicks switch. I want them to tell me how much of that shit can they take with them in a ditch when the angel of death pitches a fit. Ooh. Exactly none of it. I don't know what's the fun in it, but I'm asking them to be done with it. Right now, I'm watching over it until our communities follow suit. I know one thing, I need more troops. 21 guns salute. All my troops, lace up your Tims and boots. Be prepared to shoot, but no, it's not for the loot. It's for our children. That through our revolution, for any black hatred, we'll soon have a conclusion. It's with our inclusion that we'll come to this resolution. So I say, black child in the slums, don't fret. Your time will soon come. The meek shall inherit the earth. And my kingdom is in heaven. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to live a life to have the memories of my life rise from the dirt. When the angel of death whispers, Mr. King, master of the spoken word, this won't hurt. You all now have the opportunity to respond to my 911 dial because it takes an entire community to 
to raise a child. Thank you. One more. Come on, if I share a story with you. This is a true story. It's an excerpt from our book titled Blood of a Slave, Heart of a King, Mind of a Revolutionary. Yeah. One day, I woke up angry at the world. That day, I was like, I'm ready to do whatever. Shit gotta get better. I gotta get me some cheddar. I went about it the wrong way exactly three times. I got caught. I was facing exactly three dimes. But for some reason, my soul was at peace. I knew I was only there so that I can teach. I'm a light, so I shine everywhere I go. And everywhere that I should go, if he needs me to show, I'll go. And if nobody else wants to go, say, Lord, is all right with me. So although I was locked up, I knew that I was free. The other inmates was wondering, man, how can this be? This guy, he has a glow and he looks just like me. They knew I was special when my cell door got stuck. It couldn't close. The COs were screaming, what the fuck? I was in and out of my cell anytime I chose. I got all the inmates' attention. They wondered what he knows. Now that I have their full attention, I can teach them. I still shed tears for those that's doing 30 years because I know I reached them. I just couldn't release them. It was too late. They was lost in the system. I held my class for about 10 months. Then one day God said, son, your time is up. They just let me out a side door. I didn't know what was up. I just looked up and said, Father, I never died. I can't tell you, man, how loud I shouted. It was no paperwork, no judge. It was none of that. They just let me out a side door. I was back in New York. They screaming, Eddie's back. Eddie's back. Say word. Yo, where he at? I can't explain it. It's the love of my people I attract. I'm black. I will never be ashamed of that. I know some of my brothers don't know how to act. But if they knew better, they'll do better. That's where I come in at. So watch, not on my watch, will they be ignorant to what their eyes can see. No longer will my brothers be lost in the system. They can count on me. Thank you.